This horn is so much fun to play. It was a trade-in towards a four-valve Adams flugelhorn, and we're selling it at the shop. Stay tuned to this video, and I'll fill you all in about the specs on this horn. Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there today. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, stay up to date with us with all of our mini lessons, which are free, our show and tells like this horn you'll see, and so much more here on our YouTube channel. Thanks again for your awesome support. This horn is a custom build from our friends at Adams. It was a custom build for a customer who actually backed out of the sale. Then we sold it to another customer who ended up trading it to us, not because he didn't love the horn, but he needed a four valve flugelhorn for his touring. So this horn is a custom A4LT and it's gorgeous. It's in the satin matte lacquer, as you can see, it has the beautiful wood and inlaid buttons, as you can see right there, they're, they're just gorgeous. Uh, it has a smaller bell. And so you might say, well, it looks a lot like your Copernicus, but there's a few huge differences. One. The receiver is different, so the weight of the receiver changes it. The taper of the receiver is very different. The front tuning slide is ovated and not uh, rounded like our Shepherd's Crooked on the front of Copernicus. The bell is five inches versus a five and a half inch bell on Copernicus. This also has a thicker bead on the bell. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Let me see if I can get that. Yeah, you can see that bead. It's pretty robust. Um, it's a 50 gauge um, gold brass bell. And uh, the valve block is totally different than Copernicus. It's super versatile. I think a lot of people think of the A4 series as being like dark and tubby horns, but with the right mouthpiece, you can really get them to spark quite nicely because they were made for my friend Amik, who, was, who is an incredible salsa and Latin jazz player. So you could do pretty much anything on this horn. I'm gonna turn off the talking mic and put on my trumpet mic so you could check out some of what this horn can offer. fun. I am using my ACB uh, 1.25 Mount Vernon, which is quite a large mouthpiece. So it does have the ability to have a beautiful rich sound. You could play some crisp orchestral style on it as well. Let me turn off this mic. Turn off.
it's an awesome jazz trumpet, as you heard with the little uh, line for lions. It can play great bebop if you wanted it to. get really thick and creamy, you plug in one of these FX mouthpieces and you have an instant flugelhorn. If you want some nice poppy lead trumpet, even though it has a shepherd's crooked bell, it will still do it. It's great. Let me get rid of some of my condensation. It's not spit. And give you a little Phil Collins. So this horn kind of does it all. If you want a super diverse horn that has its own vibe as well, this horn, this Adams A4LT with the Shepherd's Crook Bell is an awesome choice. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with us. Thank you so much for your awesome support of ACB. We couldn't do it without you. Have an awesome day and happy tooting y'all. Cheers. <laughs>